Hey guys, welcome to another segment provided by Technical Options Traders Inc. Hope you guys are having a great day. So let's get started here. Uh, you know, looking at the market overall, uh, you know, the Fed came in today. Uh, you know, they they gave the market what the market was ex expecting, and which is why we're having a rally. So uh, market was expecting a 0.5 uh, rate interest uh, increase, and which is why you know the market is starting to bounce a little bit there wasn't a shock uh in the in the fed minutes report however uh we are in a volatile time frame now from uh, today until june 15th that's when the fmlc minutes are so it'll be important to watch and see what the market does right now the price action here is still very weak i'm not still bullish on this price action even though as a trader i've took some trade today we made some uh wins in our community uh however if i'm looking at a swing a long-term swing i'm not taking it due to the price action like yes we have more green we have more buying than selling over the last few days but the pressure remains weak here i want to see strong pressure and then continuous buying momentum uh to be confident in this move up right now i want to see a break above 398 which is what we're getting here and then i want to see a consolidation above this level as well right so i want to see a price acceptance above this level and then we can get an easy push to about 410 right now the price is getting there however the volume is declining on the daily we'll keep an eye on this to see how it does uh there's been continuous sell-offs in the weekly so this reversal was much much needed what we what, what's left to see here is where this reversal goes up to right or how high it goes up to so uh, this is something we're going to have to see and what the other catalyst could be in mid uh, june it could be the fmoc minutes that pushed this market to the upside with the fed uh doing stuff that the market is already expecting or anticipating right so right now the market is starting to bounce which is a very positive sign so that's the s p levels uh looking at a triple q here the triple q here if you guys see it overall it's very very weak okay uh <coughs> so triple q uh looking at this is uh you know consolidating it's not really breaking out so i really don't like this in the queues right here uh what i want to see on the queues on the hourly right i want to see a break above until we break Thir uh, 330 right i have i'm sure a lot of people have other targets but my target is simply right up here right until we get above these sell out this important sell off that was happened um it doesn't matter what happens with the triple q's i'm going to stay uh with this downtrend here i'm going to stick with it yes we're getting a bounce i want to see it get, uh, get above this trend line and get above 310 with rising volume right if volume is not rising i'm not positive in that price action and we could continue to head down looking at the daily on the queues this is just a consolidation and acceptance of price in this range if you look at the buying volume here over the last few days even though buying volume has stepped in i don't see how rising interest rates uh could be a, a positive sign for growth or tech companies at all so uh so this triple q it could be very tough over the coming few weeks and months uh as a trade but if we can get above 330 and a price acceptance possible reversal could be on the horizon for the queues but that's still a long long ways to go uh for the triple queues here but remember the market is always forward looking so we want to be open to that we want to be open to the side that we can start possibly start to get a bounce here however the other thing that i want to uh, remind you guys which is very important the market has made new lows it did not make new highs so that's something we want to keep in mind don't forget that it made new lows okay so that's something that we want to focus on and see okay if it reverses how far is it going to go and where is it going to reverse from to the downside okay the next thing we want to focus on is dow jones dow don't dow jones like the regular market nice move up nothing unexpected on the dow here uh you know you can you guys can easily see that it's a nice move uh to the upside which is which was expected okay so you guys can see that this level right here is important at 305 level if this level breaks we're going to go directly down now because this move was getting very vertical this is a pullback now what we have what's left to see is rising volume and more buyers stepping behind this move to confirm that you know we're going to continue going to the upside right now great move well the next couple of days will be a telling sign for us if the dow actually makes us, if this is actually a bullish move for dow or if this is just a fake out okay <clears throat> so looking at iwm iwm has obviously a great day as well and uh, now we're getting above this uh price action here uh it's very very nice like you see like this is the the bear flag it was where it broke from <coughs> this is a big level uh for iwm as well right and this was a range where it broke down from it went back uh to low as 
uh, 170, which was an aggressive move here. And now we're just getting a pullback. And we want to see how far IWM goes. If it continues to consolidate, if it can get above 187, it'll be nice push to 207. If it rejects that and goes below 168, 170, easily we can see 151. But right now, IWM is in consolidation. Not a lot happening. Looking at the hourly here, uh, just like the regular market is trying to pull back here. However, I won't touch IWM until it gets above 188 and test 190 and test 188 and bounces again. So until that happens, uh, IWM, I'll be watching from the sidelines uh, just to see you know how it keeps up with the whole market right uh, looking at VIX VIX nice down move here you know this is what we want to see uh, this is very ideal for VIX uh, for a well, while especially for us uh, it's been consolidating in this little zone here right it's like a little head and shoulder patterns breaking that finally I want to see VIX below 20 uh, before I'm confident in this move up um, you know, and uh, VIX below 20 will, uh, you know, make me believe that, you know, basically the market has bottomed for now and that, you know, we can start taking some swing position to the upside. But VIX uh, at these levels, I'm not confident at and I don't want to touch and I want to just kind of let it be for now. OK, so overall, the market is very, very uh, starting to turn here, but it's not very bullish. It's not very bearish here. See, gold here today had a gap down. OK, it's still holding this trend line this minor trend line that it has here then uh that we want that i'm focused on all right if it breaks below this level right here uh on gold which is the 160 level it'll be obviously a bearish trade for me there because we can get to 157 then there we can break down right now gold is just kind of in consolidation trying to figure itself out which way it wants to go uh you know we want to see where the money is going obviously the volume is kind of getting small as well uh this was this is something to keep an eye on right however the next big thing i want to talk about is the sectors today oil and gas sector look at this uh this is exploding to the upside it's making highs or is going to levels that have not been tested since about 2018 uh, it's uh, it's got a quite a way to go to the upside still, but it's it is starting to turn and possibly we can get a big rejection at 180 ish, right? So this is still a big level on the monthly time frame, but on the daily time frame, this is just a huge uptake. Uh, re is knocking back at the doors at 147, uh, trying to push up uh, here uh, to about 180, right? 147, and if it can break above, yeah, go to 160, then 180 level for this for XLE xle is at levels it has not tested uh since about uh what is this 2013 2012 right so these are this is a huge level so if xle can get above this level it'll be very very big okay a very very big level for xle right now we don't want it to be a, a, a double tops or triple top type of scenario here but if you guys see the strong volume here uh, the strong price action with this new huge push on the monthly. Let's switch over to the weekly here. Once again, huge buying pressure and XLE on energy continues here. Uh, you know, it makes sense with supply shortages and all that. So that's something that you know we want to keep our eye on and see what it does here. Okay, so that's XLE. So like these stocks that are bouncing today, semiconductor. You know these these guys are oversold. They're just bouncing here. So a trend hasn't reversed in this. This is this is something we want to keep an eye on. That these sectors are just starting to bounce, and once they build up. Uh, with enough momentum then we'll finally see a, a reversal in the market right now i'm not chasing this up move i'm just letting it be uh so you guys when you guys are out there trade safe you know i'll see you guys tomorrow uh you know this is a great day uh for trading if you guys did catch some moves but momentum is still bearish from my perspective until it turns i'm gonna stick to that and we'll see what happens over the next coming days